Okay, this time let's investigate trapezoids. Let's get um, the midpoint of the, the non-parallel sides of a trapezoid. So these two cut in half. Also these two cut in half. Let's connect these two. Okay. And what we want to know is what is the relationship between these two lengths compared to this length? Okay, the one in the middle. And for that, I need to cut this up into, so I have some triangles in the shape. And for us to do that, we can get one triangle here and another triangle here. Let me call this A. Let me call this B. And since this and this, okay, is a similar triangle and this is one to two ratio, this will also be 2A. For the same reason, this will be 2B, okay? And let's just call this X. This will be X, and this will be X. Okay, so the middle length, okay? So the middle length, uh, let's call that, let's label some corners here. A, B, C, D, E, F. So EF is A plus B plus X, okay? AB is X, and DC is 2A plus 2B plus X, okay? And what's interesting here is that this is the middle of between these two lengths, right? It's in the middle. So you might guess, well, is this the average of these two lengths, perhaps? So let's check that out. Let's add these two. And divide it by two and see what we get. See if we get, uh, oh, let's add these two, I meant. These two and divide by two to see if we get EF. So we get 2A, 2B plus X, plus under X, divide by two. 2a plus 2b plus 2x over 2. You can factor out the 2. And you get a plus b plus x. And that's indeed EF. In other words, in a trapezoid, the middle length is always the average between the top length and the bottom length.